All right, we're just gonna get right into it. L listen here, fellas. I'm getting ready to go on uh, a mini vacation with my girl. I'll be gone for the next couple of days. This is going to be pre-recorded just so you guys have some content to look, to look at while I'm gone and you know, enjoying myself with my little family. But I, I wanna talk about Yellen or Yelan. I don't know how to pronounce her name. Let me know down below in the comment section and excuse me for mispronunciation if I do say it wrong. I'm calling her Yelan like Elon Musk. Anyways, um, I know I normally do my incredibly deep dive analysis breakdown of a kit with all the math and all that good stuff, but I just don't have time. Like I said, we're getting ready to leave here in a couple of hours. And uh, I just wanted to give you guys a verbal communication on my thoughts on this character. Now, um, this shit ain't rocket science, fellas. Okay, I have done some, I did do some math. I have looked at her kit. I just don't have the time to give it to you as, as well as I normally do. So I, I just wanted to leave you guys with something while I was gone. But I looked at her kit, I did her math. I gave her the same fucking build as Xing Xiao. Literally, uh, same, like, emblem of severed fate. And uh, I gave her a bow, that a sacrificial bow. Whereas Xing Xiao is going to have his sacrificial sword. We know how Xing Xiao is built, right? He's level 90, sacrificial sword. I crowned his burst. And then I did the same thing for her, crowned her burst, gave her a sacrificial weapon, um, and then gave her an emblem of severed fate. Same crit stats, everything. She's literally dealing <laughs> like 2,000 more damage than Xing. Two to 2,500,000. Nah, not 2,500,000, my bad. <laughs> 2,000 to 2,500 more damage than Xing Shou per, yes, per uh, little rain bullet shit that she does, okay? Now, look, here's the thing about Xing Shou. When he does his rain ult, his rain swords that come flying at you, they come in waves of two, three, and four when you have them at C6, right? So when you attack a normal attack with your character, it's gonna be two rain swords, three rain swords, and then four rain swords. And then it's gonna repeat that process over and over again. Two, three, four, two, three, four. Jing Shou, in this shit that I just did, fully built, decked out Jing Shou. You guys know how much damage he does, honestly. He does about anywhere from 4K, 3K to 7K. And I mean, 7K is if you really prioritize damage on Jing Shou. He's really dealing about four to 5K per rain sword. Do not come down in the comment section trying to tell me how much fucking Xing Shou does. I've been playing this game since it came out. I know how much Xing Shou does. I use him every single day. He's dealing about 5K with this build I have decked out, right? She's dealing 7,500. And here's the thing about her. She's dealing three consistent rain bullets every single time. There is no two, three, four. There's no two, three, one, two. She's dealing three every single time and they both attack per second. And she's dealing two to 2,500 more damage than Xing Shou is dealing. Now, guys, y'all know that Xing Shou is at the top of the meta and has been at the top of the meta literally since the game came out. It's not fucking rocket science, boys. She is a literal upgrade to somebody who is at the top of the meta. What, what does that tell you? She's going to be broken. I, I'm not going to lie. As of now, she's going to be broken. The only thing that could possibly make her not broken is still going to make her broken. And you know what that is? That's ICD. If her ICD turns out to not be as good as Xing Shou, you know what that, that's just going to do? It's just going to make her a Shang Ling. She's going to be a main DPS that's not even on the fucking field because now she can be the one triggering Vaporize consistently instead of your main DPS, who's a pyro person, triggering Vaporize. She's going to be triggering it because she has slow ICD. So even if she, her ICD isn't as good as Xing shows, she's going to be even stronger because she hits hard as shit already. Now, here's the thing, guys. I, I hate to admit this. The reason I hate to admit this is because there are already a bunch of fucking Yilan simps coming around in comment sections saying how good she's going to be. Aito sucks, Yilan's going to be better. They're actually completely different units, so there's not a, even a matter of, of, a, of who's better than who, right? I guess it's just more of who's more valuable than who. And obviously, if there's somebody coming who's better than Xing Shou, I think they're going to be more valuable. I'll, I'll just come out and say that. I love Aito. That's my boy. I told y'all he's going to be overly synergistic. He's amazing. He's strong as shit. And I think he 100% is in the meta. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. He's in the meta. But in terms of more value, if there's a unit that's more valuable than Xing Shou on all field, that obviously, that's a pretty obvious choice, I believe. So yeah, of course, I, I fucking hate to admit it. 
because these annoying ass uh, little Timmy's staying in their mom's four bedroom jerking off to Yilan's fucking armpit in the corner or going around saying, Yilan's gonna be better. And they don't even know if she truly is gonna be better. They're just fucking simping and being annoying. <laughs> Cringy as fuck. I hate to admit it, but uh, they're actually probably telling the truth. I'm not gonna lie to you. Just from what I looked at on paper, if you've been keeping up with the channel, you know my math is A1 fucking steak sauce, bro. Her shit is strong, stronger than Xing Shou. And not only is she stronger than Xing Shou, she's even better in every way possible because her abilities scale off of HP and HP only. Why is this incredible? Because it do, that means her bow synergies are fucking expanded. Her bow catalog or arsenal is massive because it doesn't matter what bow you give her, her ult will still be able to deal the same fucking damage because it scales off at of HP. This means you can throw an Elegy of the end on her and she's gonna be phenomenal with it and she's gonna trigger it easily because she's fucking doing three ticks per, per strike. Uh, you can throw a Stringless on her. You can throw a Sacrificial Bow. You can throw a fucking Skyward Harp. Her, her, her kid is incredible, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. You can hear me getting excited just because of how good it actually is. You know I don't fucking gas. This girl is going to be very fucking strong as we're seeing things as of now okay she's not somebody i recommend skipping now i know i said that about ayato he wasn't somebody i recommend skipping 100 percent. the dudes as you can see is everything i said he was going to be the motherfucker is overwhelmingly synergistic he works with all the comps i said he would work with and then on top of that he's dealing the damage i said he would be dealing but this girl is better than a person who's been at the top of the meta for the longest. She is ripping, literally RIPing Xing Shou, in my personal opinion, as things stand now. The only way he would still be valuable is if she's not applying enough uh, hydro. Therefore, Xing Shou can still be of relevance to team compositions that need a shit ton of hydro application. And honestly, I don't think she will apply hydro application as well as Xing Shou. If she does, holy fuck she's literally gonna break the meta i'm telling y'all that right now but i do want to summarize it up for you guys she is a literal upgrade to shing show and if he's at the top of the meta that should be obvious to you on how valuable she is actually going to be now of course we're still in the pre-beta phase there could be some buffs there could be some nerfs who the fuck knows but as things stand now this woman is definitely a force to be reckoned with and as always i hope you found some insight if you got a perspective go ahead comment down below i'd love to hear it man y'all take care see you next time